Hi and welcome to Copan. I'm Andrea, a member of Copan Communication Team, and today I'll be your chaperone. We are gonna go on a journey inside our headquarters where all our widely acknowledged products are designed, tested, and produced. You will see where our swaps get made, and today in particular, I'll introduce you to our forensics product line, meeting up with some of the experts in the laboratories and in the office. But first, Let's take a peek inside the department dedicated to the production of our star product, the Fluxwap. Follow me. We are now inside the production department, where we transform raw plastic and nylon into our patent of Fluxwaps. The full process is long and ends up here, where the swaps are dried in this oven and then sorted to the appropriate internal views. All these swaps, produced for forensic purposes, a free of human amplifiable DNA and must comply to some specific standards we'll discuss later. But what makes this thin swab so unique? Our swabs are composed of a strong and flexible plastic shell and glue through the high efficiency adhesive compound our patented block surface for the highest absorption and release capacity possible. Each swab is fitted with a 20 mm breaking point to facilitate every molecular processing them. All this innovation is possible thanks to our researcher who designed and developed every single detail of our swaps. Let's go meet them. We are now here with the Genetic Microbiology Manager, Michele Rosso. Hi Michele, how are you? Fine, thanks. You. Fine, thank you. As I mentioned before, today's focus is on forensic sampling products. Is it true that these products need to adhere to some specific standards? Yeah, it's correct. All the Forensic DNA consumables need to be in compliance with the ISO 18385 standards so that the risk of human contamination is very under control. Okay, and can you tell us more about these standards and how Copan applies them? Uh, yes, for example, we start uh, with tests for any human amplifiable uh, DNA on the raw materials and then we treat with ethylene oxide mm -hmm. and test all the final products before the release on the market. And do you also have a specific workflow for this kind of products, I guess? Uh, yes, we have. Uh, for example, most of the manual processes, we converted them into automated ones. Mm -hmm. uh, then we um, also dedicated restricted areas and trained people for the forensic manufacturing. And we created DNA database of all the people uh, involved in this uh, manufactured processes, even our suppliers and forensic DNA labs, they can ask if their profiles matches with our internal database to exclude any contamination from Copan employees. Well, great job, Michele. Thank you very much. Thanks. Let's now move to the offices where we meet Elisa Piovanelli, which will describe us these products specifically designed for forensics purposes. Good morning, Elisa. Good morning, Andrea. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Elisa Piovanelli, and I'm the Business Development Manager of the Forensic Products Portfolio. Did you know that we have developed two devices that respond to the need to cut the time for DNA testing drastically? They are very useful for disaster victim identification, border control, law enforcement, and crime laboratories. The first one is the microflock co-developed with the French Gendarmerie. It can generate a forensic DNA profile in less than two hours by skipping the extraction step and using your standard C assay. You don't need to revalidate your assay. You just need to use the microflock and you are into the rapid DNA technology. Very cool. And what about the other product? The other product is the Forensic Flux Swab Divisible. This swab can be integrated into your rapid DNA workflow as you can use one part for your rapid assay and use the remaining part as a confirmation using your traditional workflow. Very well, thank you very much Elisa. And I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you have some more info you need to ask, please don't hesitate to contact Elisa and we'll see you in the next video.